Hello, everybody. My name is Edvaldo. I work at Danfoss Climate Solutions. Welcome to this Danfoss Adapt Cool training video. And I am here today at Danfoss Mobile Training Unit to show you how to replace the AKPC 72A by the AKPC 72B in this box over here. So let's go to the material. The material that you need is the USB cable so you can communicate your AKPC 72A to your computer to load the database to your PC and afterwards to upload the database to your AKPC 7A2B. A screwdriver to remove the controller and to install the new controller afterwards. And I also brought some other tools that we might need afterwards. Here in the mobile training unit, we have several applications. It means that we have several AKPC 7A2As installed. I will choose one of them to make it easier for us and I will replace this unit by the AKPC 7A2B. I will open the electric panel, so I will show you the model that I have chosen for us to be replaced. So this is the electrical panel. Here we have three units of the KPC 72A installed, and I have chosen this model over here. And let's go for it. And now let's get started with the replacement of our AKPC 72A. But before we start, I would like to give you a very important advice. Always check the version of your system manager AKSM, AKSM 800A. It's very important to ensure that you are running the software version 3.1.10 or the latest version. The 3.1.10 is the first version which we re released that accepts the communication with the KPC 7A2B. Now that we have already ensured that we have this version in our system manager, let's get started with our AKPC 7A2A. First thing is to extract the database. You can extract the database using the tunneling feature when you are communicating your PAC controller to the system manager using the service tool. In our case, I'm very close to the controller, so I can, I can use the USB cable. And that's exactly what I'm going to do now. So I will remove the USB cable that is being used now, and I will connect my USB cable. So I will connect the USB cable to my PC in this end, and the other end I will connect to the AKPC 7A2A. Good. And now let's do the traditional way. So I will start the service tool, and we will extract the database. This is an important feature because the database of the 7A2A is fully compliant with the 7A2B. You don't need to rewrite all the database. You just need to extract the database from the A version and download to the B version. And now I will choose the right COM part, which is the 20. And OK. And I'll make a direct connection. Meanwhile, the AKSM is uh, the, the, the service tool is loading. It, I will give you also a very important advice. Always ensure that you don't have a supervisor logged in the system manager if you are doing this via tunneling feature. If you have a supervisor logged in via system manager, you cannot log in via supervisor using the service tool. Therefore, you cannot extract the database. Now we have our connection over here. So I will use the SUPV the supervisor with the password 123, which is the standard one. Now we have the main screen of our AKPC 7HA. So I will go to configurations. I will go to copy settings. And I will save. So copy settings, copy file and I will save it here in my desktop. So I will save it as AKPC 7A2A database. OK. And now we wait for the saving process. OK, it was very fast. Good. So now we have our database saved in our PC. And the next step is to remove the AKPC 7A2A, replace it by the B version, and let, then we can download the database to further communicate with the system manager. Let's go to the next step now. 
And now that we have extracted the database, we have our database safe in our PC, we can start with the electrical part. First of all is to ensure that your AKPC 72A is turned off. And that's exactly what I'm going to do now. So I will turn off the 72A. And of course, the next step is to take out the connectors. So I will start with the USB connector. We just use it to extract the database. I will remove the long connector because we we will no longer use the long connection to the system manager. We will now use the IP connection. And here we have our KPC 72A. So now I will open the box to get the new controller. And here in the box, you have the instructions. We have a new installations guide with some new information regarding to the installation of the KPC 72B. And I'll take the controller now. So here it is. The KPC 72B. I will remove the connectors because the connectors are already there, installed. including the power connector. And let's go for the physical installation. And now, we have our AKPC 72B installed over here. The next step is to address the controller. And you can do it using your screwdriver and the traditional way we usually did before using the turn switches. But to address the controller, we recommend to do it with the controller powered off. So I will power off the controller and I will set the address. So the address should be an address from 11 ahead, like 11, 12, 13, for example, it should not be below 11. Another important point to mention is that now we have left here the connector of the Loneworks because we are not going to use Loneworks anymore. The communication of the 7H2B with the system manager is made via IP. And now we are going to install, in the next step, we are going to install the DHCP router and let's see how this, how this connection is made. But before we make, make this uh, step with the router, we need, of course, to upload the database we have to this new controller. And let's go for this step using the service tool. I have just powered on my controller for the next step, which is upload the database into the new controller. So I have already opened the service tool here and, and I established the connection using the USB cable, just like I did in the step before. So now, once I have my service tool connecting to my AKPC 72B, I will go to the configurations, copy settings, and now I will do the opposite way, which is from file. And here I will select my database, which we just saved some moments ago. And it, it should take some seconds to upload the database. And that's basically what we need to do. You don't need to rewrite all the database. OK, all parameters is resolved, which is a positive message. So OK here. Copy from file OK. Good. So now, looks like there are no problems in the importing of the database and let's take a look on how it how it is okay so now we have our database over here i will not start it so far i will leave the the key unlocked i will not start the controller because we have also some steps that we need to to fulfill the next step now is to install the dhcp router 
to communicate the AKPC 7 h 2 b with our system manager. And let's go for this now. If we have our AKPC 7 h 2 b installed, we will install the DHCP router to perform the communication between the 7 h 2 b with the system manager. So first of all, I will remove the USB cable that we just use it to upload the database. And I have here some material to perform the IP communication. I have here a DHCP router. This is the model that we have chose to install and to perform the communication. And I have here an example of Ethernet cable. We always recommend to install the DHCP router and the AKPC 7H2B using an Ethernet cable CAT5, shielded cable. This is, this is to prevent noise in the communication line. So we are going to use this cable, this router, and I also left here another Ethernet cable, which we will use to perform the communication with our system manager. So basically, what you need to do is to connect this Ethernet cable to the Ethernet port number one of your system manager, and I will also connect it to the LAN port of our router. You can also follow what I am doing here using this picture that we have on the screen on the screen right now. And I will also use another port, another LAN port of the router, and I will connect to the AKPC 7H2B. Good. So now, basically, that's what we need to do. Following this picture that you can see in the screen, we connected the DHCP router using both LAN ports and the Ethernet port number one of the system manager. And this is how we replace the AKPC 7H2A by the AKPC 7H2B. If you need further support, you are welcome to contact your Danfoss local support. Thank you very much for watching the video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.